G'day good people, Sawat D. Cup. Dave here. Thanks for clicking on my video. I'm checking out of the Chokdi Resort at Kai Bay and I'm heading further south down the west coast of Kochang to Elephant Bay Resort at Balian Bay or Balian Beach? Balian Bay, I think it is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stay there. I've got three nights there. Uh, three nights left on Kot Chang and then I'm heading back home. Um, the last three days actually I've done nothing r much really at all. Um, I got bitten by sand flies really bad. It's like all big rash all over my back, on my arms. I don't know if you can see, I'm not going to show you anyway. Um, yeah, all over my back. Uh, it got that bad yesterday that I actually went to the hospital. And they gave me some, uh, they gave me some medication and some cream and that to put on. And yeah, but basically the last three days I've done nothing, no, no videos, no YouTube, just, just relaxed and chilled out. So that was a bit of a bummer. But hey, it happens, doesn't it? It happens. These things happen. So yeah, when I get to um, the Elephant Bay Resort, I'll show you around the resort and show you around the beach there and show it's a little village bailey and bay it's a little village so i'll show you around that village too so i'm about to check out last look around a little bit of change for the cleaners oh. airbrush always have the last check around when you check out of a hotel <laughs> All right, guys. See you at see you at Elephant Bay Resort at Balin Bay. I pronounced it Balian Bay before, but it's actually Balin Bay. See you there, guys. Okay, so I've just checked into my room, <clears throat> and we're not off to a good start. I don't know if you can see the smoke haze, but right next to my room. He's putting it out now, but it's too late. We've got smoking, it's literally hazy in the room, but anyway. Okay, the resort itself is very nice. It's old, it's right by the sea. But um, the smoke, man, it's not good. But that will dissipate, that will settle down. There's a swimming pool, which I will be using soon. I mean, you could swim there, but it's very rocky. You have to have the right footwear to protect your feet that I haven't got, so. But there's a swimming pool there, so it's all good. Looks like it could rain. In fact, I think I felt a couple of drops, actually. All right, I'll show you the room now. Little seating area, under shelter, table, it's a family room this one, not sure where I'm going to do my editing yet, oh, hold on I'll turn the light on, that might be better, there you go, so it's a huge bed, and it's a very high bed too, <laughs> very high. What we got in here? This little box here. It's just a little cupboard to put stuff. In the bathroom. Let's have a look at the bathroom. And it stinks of smoke in here. It's come through the vents. I don't know if you can see the haze, but it's just bullshit really. Anyway, it's a massive bathroom. Shower with hot water. It's got the sink there and the throne. There's another door here because it's a family room. That goes into there where all my stuff is. Yes, it's messy already.
But yeah, I need to find somewhere where I'm going to sit and do my editing. Look at that view, man. That is sensational. Beautiful. The room is 2,800 a night. Yes, it's more than I wanted to pay, but I wanted my, because this is my last three days on Kot Chang and I'm heading home. I was going to stop in Chanterbury or, or John Tien, but no, I'm not going to do that. I, I will go back to Chanterbury though, and probably soon, and check out Chanterbury. I've heard a lot, lots of good things about Chanterbury, so I might, might do that soon. Um, I just want to head home. Um, I'm missing Noi, actually. I'm missing Noi, and I just want to head home and, and um, yeah, just spend some time with Noi. So I'm going to have a shower. Well, I'm going to have a shave. <laughs> I'm going to have a shave and have a shower, and then I'll show you around the area out the front. It's a very small, tiny little village, Balin Bay, um, and I've, I've only ridden through it to get to the to the hotel, to the Elephant Bay Resort. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go have a shave, a shower, and then go for a walk around through the village and show you the little village of Balin Bay. All right, I'm all showered and shaved. Let's go and have a look around the general area, around the village of Balian Bay. Here's the resort reception area and bar. Look at that view. Beautiful view. That's where my bike is, but I'm really not happy with that. I'm going to put it under there at night. Hello. Hello. Hi. Someone's trying to rent me a motorbike. <laughs> That's the place I had a meal yesterday. I've been here. I just realised. Not yesterday, a couple of days ago. I've been here and didn't even realise it. Yeah, I'm about 100 metres away from the resort. Yeah. I parked the bike just there. Against that wooden fence near the water there and... Uh, Went in there and had a meal. Well, yeah, it, it did look familiar when I when I rode in. I thought this looks familiar, but didn't think anything of it. But now I've just seen that place. I know why it was familiar. Motorbikes for rent. And the main road just up there. Beautiful here. Ka Chiang's got everything. It's got the mountains, it's got the beach. Obviously it's got the views. It's a chilled, laid back vibe. I love it, I love it. It's the main road, massage shop. Another motorbike rent place. Let's walk this way. Oh, these little huts look nice. Looks very nice. Might go for a sneaky little walk down there. Wow. <laughs> Noi would love this. And why wouldn't she?
This is beautiful. Too late now, I've already booked my room. <laughs> Just a really nice, quiet, sleepy little village. And I love it, it's awesome. It is busier, Pachang is busier than it was two years ago. But it's not overbearingly busy. I, at times it can be, like on a Friday or Saturday night and the main roads of Kai Bay or Langley Beach or whatever, yeah, it's pretty damn busy. But yeah, there's still some scars from COVID. Still some places shut down and gone to ruin, basically, some places. Uh, when we were here two years ago, there was a lot of places closed down just after the reopening, after the pandemic. It was sad, really. But um, thankfully, things look like they've really picked up. There's definitely more people here than there was two years ago when I came here with Noi. Yeah, it's definitely picked up. So nice. Riding a bike through these little areas. Surrounded by green, you see monkeys on the side of the road and it's just gorgeous driving through the, riding, riding through these roads. It's a beautiful place, Kai Chang, it really is. If you've never been and you're thinking of coming for an island holiday to Thailand, I could not recommend Kai Chang anymore. Just do it. <laughs> Book your tickets and do it. Weed shops everywhere. Yeah, that's a big difference from last time. There was no weed shops. It's all fully legal. It's like legalized bang overnight and bang all these weed dispensaries everywhere. Anyway, can't talk too much about that in YouTube. Okay, that's the road that goes to my resort. So I'm on the other side now. I can smell the weed. I can smell it everywhere here. <laughs> CB500X. I thought about getting one of those. Sometimes I wish I did. And then sometimes I don't. That, that's a story for another video. People have been asking me to do a review on the bike and more moto vlogging and everything, but I don't want to do, I'm not, it's not a moto vlogging channel. It's just a channel about my life here in Thailand. And it's not really a travel channel either, but there will be traveling on it because that's what I like to do. Get on my bike and travel. But yeah, I will do a review on the bike. I'll do a review on the bike in, a, in the near future. Like I've had a decent, fairly reasonably long distance ride on it, so I will do a review soon. This is a beautiful little place here. I love it. Man, I should have stayed here the whole time. It's always the way, isn't it? 
few days before you go home, you find something really good. <laughs> Another massage shop, so at the cap. That's like the third or fourth massage shop that I've seen in this little village so far. They're everywhere. And I might get a massage later on. In fact, I will get a massage later on. little mini mart there I'll pop in there on the way back and get some supplies job application no I'm applying for a job on Koh Chang <laughs> like hell I am I'm retired although this YouTube caper sometimes feels like I'm not retired and I'm not making any money on it not yet anyway it'll happen in time hopefully like I put a hell of a lot of work into it, into YouTube, so. Yeah, when I get to the 1,000 subscribers and however many watch hours it is, and I start getting paid, I do put a lot of work into it, a lot of time and effort and money into it. So it'd be nice to be able to recoup some of that money for my efforts. On that note, if, you, if you've watched a few of my videos and you like the channel and you haven't subscribed, just hit the subscribe button and it helps me out big time. That would be fantastic. I'd really appreciate that. And to my subscribers, 360 something of you now, thank you very much. Really, really appreciate it. There is a buy me a coffee link on my channel and it's in the description of all my videos. I, I don't really push it that much. It's, I just, yeah, well, I don't, never pushed it on a video, but I'll just mention it now because uh, last week someone bought me a coffee, Kevin. I won't mention his last name, but Kevin. Good on you, fellow Adelaidean. But yeah, he bought me a coffee and that was the first five bucks I've made on YouTube so far. And as soon as I saw that, I thought, wow, awesome. It was a really good feeling, but it's only five bucks, but you know. Yeah, so if you do like what I do on YouTube, um, and you want to buy me a coffee? The link's down there. Click the link and buy me a coffee. Buy me 10. Buy me 100 if you want. <laughs> right, I'm just going to pop into this JJ Mini Mart and get some supplies. I've got my supplies. Got my Coke Zero. <laughs> I'm not a big beer drinker, although I tell you what, when I get back to the resort, I think I'll have a beer and a swim. Sweating. Just had a shower and a shave and everything. Within five minutes of sweating. Oh well. <coughs> so yeah, back to the resort to chill. It's a beautiful, sleepy little village. I love it. Did I mention that I love Kochang? How many times, in the videos that I've done in Kochang, how many times have I said, I love Kochang? Oh, this is beautiful. Because <laughs> it is, man, it's awesome. It's just awesome, what can I say? It's one thing seeing it on video, but to actually be here and feel the Feel the vibe of the place is another thing. Back at the resort, and I have no idea what I'm going to do with the rest of my day. I'm going to chill at the resort for a while. Definitely going to go for a swim, but um, 
Yeah, it's, it's going to be chill time, basically. Okay, I was about to head out for the day. I was just about to go off to a, uh, a fishing village about an hour away from here on the other side of the island. Uh, and a guy comes up to me and says, oh, you need to change room. You need to change your room. And I said, no, I'm staying in this room for three nights. He says, no, 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 you need to change your room. Uh, when, I, when I booked the room, that was the deal, like stay one night in the in the family room and then into a smaller room for two nights. That's what, when I, when I booked it on a go to, that's, that was the best deal apparently. So I just booked it. And then when I got here, when I checked in, I asked if I could uh, just stay the whole three nights in the family room. She said, yep, no worries, 2,800 baht a night. Very expensive, but anyway. Uh, and just now, not long ago, about half an hour ago, a guy said to me, you need to move your room, move into another room. I said, no, I organised a check-in to stay in, in this room, in the family room. Then he went away and then he came back and said, no, 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 you need to move. And he, and he gave me the key to the other room and I went and checked the other room and it was just, no, it, no, I didn't want it, did not want it. So I packed all my stuff up and I was going to check out and I was about to ride back home about to ride back home to Tanyabury, Um Wasn't exactly happy, I can tell you that right now. But um, I talked to the guy, the owner actually, at, at the bar, at the uh, reception area. And um, he asked me if I wanted to stay in the, I don't know, it's a big superior room. It's just awesome, check this out. And I'm right next to the water. For 2,000 baht, so it's 800 baht a night cheaper, and it's a bigger, much better room. Check it out. I mean, the view. The view. I'll turn the light on. Nice, big, massive bed. Somewhere very comfortable that I can do some editing. Fridge. Storage area. Let's come see to the other side. And in here. Turn the light on. We have a massive Bathroom, huge bathroom, nice big shower, and down here is the toilet. Unbelievable. And the walls are yellow, so I, so I feel like I'm at home. <laughs> Except in here, they're green. But yeah, super happy with that, spending two nights here. However, it has put paved to my plant, plant plans. However, it has um, changed my plan for today. Uh, the weather's not looking the best. So I'm not gonna go to the fishing village. 
It's been a lot of hard work, this trip. Um, a lot of editing, a lot of filming, a lot of sweating, a lot of... It's been a lot of hard work. It's not easy. You might just think he's riding off into the sunset and... No, it's a hell of a lot more than that. It's... Yeah, it's a job, almost. But I'm not getting paid. <laughs> um, yeah. Ka Chang has been fantastic. It's been absolutely awesome. Um, and now this room is, it's the uh, cream on the cake. This is fantastic and I'm going to enjoy it. Um, I'll film a sunset tonight, hopefully if the weather's, I hope the weather's better than last night, but I'll film a sunset. Thank you. 